just quickly like to show you how our last part of a product design process looks like, uh, which is part six, production. Uh, I know we don't talk about it quite often, but there's actually a lot of things going on behind the closed doors. So let me show you what I have in mind. Um, so welcome to our production room. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, here's where all the magic is happening regarding production. Uh, to the right hand side of me, this big looking fridge system is actually our vacuum casting system uh, that allows us to produce uh, parts, elements in small scale production. And here's an example um, of a product uh, that uh, you can achieve through this system. And as you can tell, it has a lot, a lot of tiny details. Uh, that otherwise would have been very expensive to produce through injection molding. So the biggest differences between vacuum casting system and injection molding is that vacuum casting, it is a significantly slower process, but also much more affordable. Basically, if you're a smaller company or even a medium company that simply wants to test the viability of their product on the market, vacuum casting system is definitely a way to go because it allows you to manufacture a couple hundreds of parts for a very affordable method uh, which will also get you the right type of quality uh, for the market as well. And so this little product I'm holding in my hand is called Cubix, uh, and I'm guessing the name came about because it does look a little bit like a cube. This little product allows to create a modular furniture design. Um, and from its nature, because it is going to be supporting quite a bit of weight, it has to be relatively strong for its size. Uh, overall, the production consisted of over 1,000 parts, uh, and uh, once combined form 90 separate units and as you can tell there are just boxes full of full of those elements here well, here's the start of the show uh, a german made vacuum casting system let me show you or briefly explain to you how this process looks like so uh, the resin is being poured into the tray uh, and air is being sucked in uh, which creates a vacuum inside the system then the resin is being mixed together and then put it in, into the funnel, right into the silicon mold. Uh, once we're gonna take the mold from the vacuum casting system, the part still doesn't have uh, the necessary properties and it has to be heated up for around two hours in a furnace uh, at around 70 degrees. 